losing your virginity. The first thing you need to know about losing your virginity is that you're not losing anything. Despite the way that people talk about virginity, it's not like some appendage that's stuck on you and as soon as you have sex it just floats off into the abyss. Bye virginity! It was nice knowing ya! So when I talk about first time sex, I prefer to call it your sexual debut. In the months leading up to your sexual debut, there's someone you're interested in, things are sort of heating up between the two of you. That's great. Spend some time getting comfortable with each other sexually. This is gonna make things so much less awkward later. It's also not a bad idea to get comfortable with yourself. Get some alone time and check your shit out. Identify all the major parts of your genitals, touch them, see what they feel like. You could take a whiff, and if you're feeling really adventurous, you could even taste it. That's not cannibalism, is it? No, of course not. Besides checking things out, it's not a bad idea to masturbate. Experiment with what feels good, and if you've never orgasmed before, this can be a really good way to learn. That said, don't stress if you haven't learned how to orgasm yet. For people who have vaginas, it can be a little tricky to learn. There's no checklist when it comes to this question. Really, it comes down to being in touch with yourself. Some good signs that you're ready are that you want to do it and you feel excited about it and you are going to be doing it with someone who you feel comfortable with and you're doing it for yourself, not to prove that you're cool or to prove that you love someone. Readiness is when you are in the driver's seat and you know how to drive that shit. Readiness is knowing how to protect yourself against STIs in pregnancy. It's having had conversations about sex with your partner. And remember, there's no rush. You'll be afraid to take your time there's no deadline here. The number one thing you all tweeted and tumbled me about when I posted about this video was pain during sex. And I have great news for you. The first time you do it, it doesn't have to hurt. Forget what everyone's told you about having to break your hymen, about it being bloody and messy. It's a lie. Here's how you can avoid the pain. A few weeks before, you want to start with your fingers. Start stretching out the hymen a little bit. And then, one, make sure you have lots of foreplay. Make sure you're really turned on and horny beforehand. So do some massages, oral sex, whatever y'all do. Penis will be erect. That's the obvious one. But for a vagina, you know you're really turned on when the lips in this area down here get a little bit puffy. Number two, relax. If you're really stressed out and tense, that's going to translate into pain. Take some deep breaths, relax the muscles in the area, do what you need to do to become as chill as you can. Number three, lube, 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 lube. Just a truckload of lube. Okay, not a truckload. A few squirts should do. Put a little on the inside and rub all over the outside. Number th what number am I on? Four? Pick it up slow. So people with the penises, take your partner's cue and go nice and slow, especially at first. If it really hurts, stop, because something's wrong. If you're bleeding, stop because something's wrong. What you will feel at first is this sort of uncomfortable stretching sensation. As your muscles relax and you start to get more into it, that sensation should be less and less noticeable. And five, communicate the whole way. Does this feel good? Does that feel good? No, I don't like that. Let's do more of this. Wrong communication equals good sex. The two main questions y'all sent me about the aftermath are one, basically guys who worry that they came too fast. Don't be so hard on yourself when you're nervous and if you're used to just masturbating really quickly, it happens. The other question that I get is if having sex with someone is gonna make you feel forever attached to them afterward. The short answer is no, it's just another way to scare you out of having sex. What does happen after you orgasm is a release of oxytocin. It makes people bond with each other, but it doesn't last your whole life. In fact, it doesn't last more than a few hours. What can last a little longer is just a feeling of vulnerability and closeness to that person who you just shared this special experience with, which is why it's beneficial to have a trusting relationship with that person. So that you feel supported and safe with them and you don't have to worry about having made the wrong choice. And even if that did happen, just remember, your sexual debut doesn't have to be perfect. There's a danger in putting too much value and pressure on it. Yeah, it's significant and it's awesome and it's exciting, but there is so much more to come. The most important thing is have fun, do what feels good to you. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna be looking at the comment section. There's also awesome people in the Sex Plus audience who I'm sure would be happy to help you out. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Mwah.